Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to fully understand constraints on Figma. So let's start off by creating a frame. Now I've created one here. Uh, we'll just name this uh, container. And then we have to uh, create something inside this container. It's either a frame or another type of shape that you wanted. So for this one, I'll be creating a shape. So let's just add some colors into it. There you go. So as we can see, now we have the constraints here, the top and the left side, which already by default when you when you create an object inside a frame. Now we can see also here from the constraints panel that it is at the top and the left side, and you can switch it between. Uh, left to right or maybe center if you want top to bottom and center if you want as well now what are what are these options all about now constraints is used for positioning your objects inside a frame now if you have a uh, button now let's switch this one into a button let's type button here then set this into an auto layout Let's add some color. Then let's change the text color. There you go. Now you have a button here. Now you want your button to position always at the top left whenever the size of the frame changes. So what we can do now is just move it right here. And we should understand that when we resize our container, this will follow through whatever constraints they are in. So in this one, it is constrained on left and top. Now, if we try to resize our uh, frame, nothing happens because all of the, because the constraints of this button is by the left side and top side. Now, if we change it from left to right, you can see here the blue bot, uh, the blue, uh, line indicator changes as well. Now we can move or resize the frame and the button just comes along with it. Now what, what happens if we do other options like this one? Now we need to create a logo. So let's try uh, a word type logo here. Let's just say Do it just like that. Uh, let's set it to bold. And there you go. We have our logo right here. Just increase the size. Yeah. So we have our logo now constrained to left and top. What happens if we resize the container that we have right here? The button, uh, the button here. Uh, resizes as well since it is constrained to left. I I right I mean. So when we resize here, so the button changes based on the width of the frame. Now if we resize from the left, the logo itself goes with it as well since it is constrained here from left. There you go. The, that's how you can use the top, right, left, and bottom types of uh, constraint. So let's try doing, let's just create this into a mobile frame just like that. What if we have a uh, footer? So let's just design the footer here. Change the color. Like that, there you go. Uh, this could be our footer for now. Let's just rename it into footer. Now, what we can do 
is we want our footer to stick at the bottom every time we resize our frame. Now what you want to do is just select the frame, the footer, and just switch it to bottom right here. Now, when we drag our a frame from the bottom, it always stays at the bottom part of the frame since it is constrained to the bottom part of it. So, if you click to the frame, you can see it is in the bottom. But what we do, uh, what happens if we resize it? Now, the the footer does not resize and is just stay from the left. It is because it is constrained from the left as well. But the problem is our footer is always should be set as full width. So what can we do? By clicking on, on this uh, frame, just uh, select on the horizontal options. You just set it to left and right. Now your footer is constrained from left here and right here as well. As you can see here. Sometimes it does not work by only clicking right here. So you should have the selecting it from the drop down option. Let's resize it back and let's try if this if this works. Now uh, that's work. Uh, if you can see, the the bottom footer now resizes as well when it goes to left or maybe or right as well, and bottom part it goes with it by the frame. Now you can stack up all your contents here and not worrying about resizing. Once we resize it for this type of uh, scale, maybe we're designing for mobile. Yeah, so we should set it left and right. Now, we want to set it from uh, a tablet size. So you, you don't have to worry to resize it again. Just set it to left and right on its constraints. So that's it for the, the left and right. And now the center. Now the center. Uh, option is the same for vertical and bottom options now if we have an image right here uh, let's, let's create an image right here let's search some sample images from pexos here you go now we have an image we want our image to be centered always when we resize the the frame so it will retain its uh, actual size from its width and its height but the position but the positioning of it will stay on the center all the time now we just have to click center here or maybe click it the inner lines here center on the uh, hori uh, horizontal option and the vertical option there you go now if we resize our container, it will always position itself at the center of the frame. Even though how huge or how wide the image is, it will always resize here. Now if we can see, this does not work well whenever we have a web. Let's imagine if this is a web page now, the images always stay uh, on its size, but it is position centered. The problem with that is that you do not create a better visual appeal on the image. So there are some types of uh, options that we can use when using center. So let's try creating the navigation options here. So let's just add three uh, home about and contact like that. So let's resize this one, maybe 12 or 10. Now let's position it here. Then we set all of this into center. Now, if we resize this one, as you can see, all of it uh, stays at the center part, even if how, uh, how how wide is your web page so it always stays at the center now how what can we do with our image so our image we wanted our image to scale based on the width of the web page so what we can do here is set the width of the 
web page of the image I mean and then let's just set it to scale now it scales from top to bottom and left to right so if we resize the web page from left and right it resizes as well and we if we resize it top to bottom it resizes as well uh, let's just have to set this to top they should be centered by uh, horizontal and top uh, constraint on the vertical so that they could stick at the top now if we resize this one as you can see the image resizes as well there you go as you can see that now that is how constraints work on our designs this could really help us on uh, reducing our time of work working on positioning our uh, elements on our design and it really keeps up with whatever size of our frame do we like now if you want to learn more about these tips i'll be sharing this figma file on our on my uh, community uh, figma community account so you can duplicate this one and explore on whatever you like and let me know your thoughts about on this one and thank you for watching